Boo. What's up, everybody? Everybody hyped for the reveal? Boo. All right. It's your friendly neighborhood. What's up, Mesa everybody? Fail. Let's see. We got Jinx. Who else we got here? Everybody Michael. For the reveal? Michael Kramer. Boo. All right. It's your friendly neighborhood. What's up, Mesa everybody? Fail. Is there an echo in Let's here? Let's say we got Jinx. Who else we got here? Oh, yeah. Michael. There is an echo. Michael Kramer. Right. Hold on. Friendly neighborhood. Shut that down. Mesa. Oops. Sorry about that. A little bit of an echo. Let me fix that music real quick. Sorry, guys. A little technical thing here. Let me know if the music's okay. Zero light. Who we got here? Uh, Sean Rice. Bry. Arvind. Grant Savage. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Sean? Sean Welton? Echo Mesa. Yeah, right? Yeah, there was an echo because um, I've got... Let's see if I go to OBS here. I switch scenes here. If I go to here. Uh, I had this open up in that, too. But we'll go to the reveal here, and we'll pull that in full screen. And more than likely, when the reveal hits, I will... Um, Go back to OBS, get rid of you. I will mute myself, cut the camera out so you guys can see the reveal and everything and not have to worry about me. But I made sure I went to uh, all my characters last night. And you can still do that now in Destiny Item Manager or whatever. No, actually, ooh. I can't use Destiny Item Manager right now. I was right. Yeah, I tweeted, uh, I put out to the channel members and I also tweeted out last night to um, transfer all of your gear the night before. Hey, Popeye, thank you for the super chat. Taking off work at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for this. Ha ha. And a break from work. Keep it up, brother. You're my favorite Destiny 2 YouTuber. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Johnny M. from uh, Deer Park. Beautiful day. It's hot out. I have the air conditioning going on in the background. Hey, Michael. Who's Fenchurch? I don't know. Who is Fenchurch? Robert Myers with the Aldrin emote. Uh, any predictions? We're going to see the... I don't think we're going to see the veil until later in the season. But they might tease us. To, well, no, obviously, we're going to see the fall expansion. So we're going to have to see him, probably. Hey, Scott. Hope the hype is deserved. I think so. I think they're going to make this DLC like a Forsaken-esque DLC. Yeah, I love Shadowkeep. Hey, Robert, thank you for the super sticker, buddy. I think I like Shadowkeep so much because I felt like I'm just, I have nostalgia when it comes to the moon. Hey, Marcus. What's up, X-Ball? Hello from Japan, Ryan. I think um, I liked, um, hold on, let me move my mouse. I liked, uh, whatchamacallit, Shadowkeep so much because I have um, an adoration of, uh, no, I, I stopped playing on PlayStation ever since I bought my gaming rig. Hey, what's up, Knee High Spy? Um, I know I'm all over the place here. Hold on. Hey, Benjamin. Watch me with my two boys. They say they love Mesa. Hi, little men. Tell them I said hi, Benjamin. Uh, hey, Jeremy, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Gary. Yeah, I feel like um, I liked Shadowkeep so much because, one, I love the moon. So there's that nostalgia. I just, I've always loved the moon. It's one of my favorite destinations. That's why I like Crota's End. Hey, Zero. Uh, that's why I feel like Crota's End was one of my favorite raids, even though everyone says it's a glorified strike. Uh, let me know if the music is okay. Can you still hear the music in the background? Why transfer? Uh, transfer your gear. I transferred all my key weapons now just because I wanted to make sure. Because Destiny Item Manager is down right now. Jack Wolf, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Mesa, sorry I was a wet blanket in Discord yesterday. Just want to let you know that I still respect you for all the content you make and still look forward to the reveal later. Sorry about that, Jack. Yeah, Jack, uh, your eyes over on the Discord, right? Yeah, sorry, dude. That leak <clears throat> that leak that hit last night was fake anyway. Uh, hey, Thomas Wilson. Thomas Williams. <laughs> Excuse me. Welcome to the Mesa Army, buddy. Um, make sure you go to the community tab, and there will be a link to the Discord for channel members. That's, uh, that only you could see. Click on it. Link your Discord to YouTube. And then come into our Discord. And then there will be all the text and voice channels and everything there. And then from there, um, if you need a clan, the channel members set up a clan on uh, 
PC, Xbox, and PS4, and there's multiple. Mesa Army, one, two, three, four, because we have so many members now. Hey, Tank, what's up, dude? Oh, let's see, another super chat. Let's see, why uh, why ain't it working? Do you think there will be a new level cap for today? Yeah, definitely. Mm hmm Yep. Hey, Brian Carroll, welcome to the Mesa Army, buddy. Thank you. Hey, Del Stewart, what's up, dude? Happy new content day. Brian, thank you for joining, my friend. Go to the channel uh, community tab on the channel wall. Uh, click the link. It'll only the, uh, be there for you. And um, uh, connect your Discord to YouTube. And then the Discord, everything will open up. All the text channels. I love hanging out with you guys. I was hanging out like crazy. And, hey, Michael, what's up, dude? Good morning to you. Time Splitter, what's up? Yeah, I'm live early. I just feel like going live early just to chat with you guys and hang out. We got some time to kill. I figured I'd just log in anyway. Yeah, I um I put everything on my main warlock that I want to play on today. So critical weapons. I put at least a fusion. This is my favorite fusion right now. I love Exiles Curse. Hey Voltec, what's up, dude? Hey Charlie. What's up, Todd? What's up, Mesa? Can't wait to see uh update. You're uh you're my only hope while I'm at work. Thanks for all you do. Keep us posted. Oh, thanks, man. Hey Roxas, thank you for the super chat. X ball isn't level cap supposed to go to 1060? Well, we we saw that I think in one of the screenshots. Hello from South Africa. Hello there. Uh, yeah, so I put all my favorite weapons on and just various different things because uh, sometimes the the API goes down for a bit. Uh, who's the boss gonna be? Popeye says I don't know. J C Rodriguez, what's up, dude? When we look at the, um, the, uh, I'm not going to show any hardcore leaks or anything here, but let me just show you something real quick here. If I go to my downloads folder here, when we look at this image here, hopefully you guys can see this on screen. Make sure, yeah, you can. Okay. Um, so this is like a silver bundle or something like that, I guess. But you clearly see hive symbols and markings around here. So, hey, Chris Paul, welcome to Mesa Army, my friend. Thank you so much for becoming a channel member, level one. Thank you, buddy. Go to the community tab, link your Discord to YouTube, and then come on into our Discord and hang out. Community tab, we'll have it. Andrew Weller, Thomas, what's up, dude? Been watching my content for five or six months now. Love the content, man. It's nice to see someone who is passionate about the game as I am. You're the only person I go to Destiny for Destiny News. Thanks, Thomas. I appreciate that, buddy. Hey, Irish. What's going on? I'm part Irish. Hey, Tyler. Another worm god, perhaps? Do I know Rick Hack? I've met Rick Hackers. Can't say it's been a pleasurable experience. <laughs> uh, what's up, Robert? Hey, Mesa, are we still going to get be uh, beginning gear from the season pass? Do you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Hey, more channel members. Jamie White and uh, Zipok. Welcome to level one. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Just go to the community tab. Head on over to the... Uh, community tab click that discord link um connect your uh, youtube to discord come and hang out i love hanging i was hanging out with you guys all last night just chatting with you guys because uh, some leaks hit but they they turned out to be fake last night although there's a new one that we think we know what the season's going to be called for this this coming season i think howdy nick yeah so if you look at this here this is pretty ominous here this guardian being levitated or something and then these are clearly some hive runes back here. Hey, Jack Wolf. By the way, do you think Bungie will remove restriction on what armor ornaments can be used on? Really want to use my Trials of the Nine ornaments again. I hope so, Jack. I hope. Because I think that's the consensus is we want to look the way we want to look. And if they could let us do that, it's a win-win situation for everybody. Hey, Popeye, upgraded to level two. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank <clears throat> Lost my voice there for a second. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it, my friend. Uh, what do you think the new six-player thing is going to be? I'm believing the earlier leaks. It's going to take place on Titan in the Arcology or something like that. Hey, um, Artorias. Thank you for that big super chat. Good afternoon, Mace. I'm excited for the reveal. I haven't been playing for the last several weeks due to lack of interest, but I'm hoping the upcoming content will bring the fire back. Yeah, listen. Well, one, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Tyler. Um, look, when it's dry, I say this... I'm a broken record at this point. Hey, Spark Hunter, what's up, dude? I'm a broken record. Every year, the spring is dry. It happens every year. And then the summer becomes really fun. 
and leads into a uh, epic. Hey, what's up, Gareth? Uh, leads into an epic fall expansion, and this year is going to be no different, I think. Uh, Chris Paul, once you get in and you've linked your Discord and um, uh, your YouTube channel, come in there and then just contact one of the admins, and then from there, um, either Unforsaken J or GMD Geek or Twisted or the channel member admins that handle the clan will get you all set up, buddy. Just give them some time. Josh, welcome to level one. Thank you for becoming a member and Haunted Pumpkin. Thank you for becoming a channel member level one. King Octavian, thank you for the super chat. It starts in 20 minutes, right? Yep, in 20 minutes, we will head on over to... Where are we going to go? We're going to go to... Not my stream. We're going to go right here and then make this full screen here. So we don't have to worry about that. Hold on. Just got to refresh this to see if this... Come on, I'm looking for a JH3. Nah, no JH3. All right, let's go back to the game. Display capture. There we go. Back to the game. Jabba! Welcome to level one, my friend. Thank you for joining. Awesome. You guys are sweet. Really, really appreciate the support. Yeah, 45 minutes. It's 11.17 a.m. Eastern here. And then uh, we'll start playing. Today's going to be a long stream, guys. We're going to be uh, watching the reveal. And then we're going to... Uh, in fact, let me go over to the Spider and grab my usual resources. Um, and then we're going to be playing the new season today. Oh, did I just miss something there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Roxas, thank you for the super chat. Notice me. You're awesome, LOL. Thank you for the super chat. Sorry. So it, Look, just so you know, the way YouTube does this, they make it so much easier for me to see the channel members and super chats than uh, regular... Uh, text chats and also it goes so quickly here. Hey Haunted Pumpkin, the hype is real right now. It's 4 p.m. where you are in London. Oi. Hello, mate. JJ, what's up, dude? Agent Shadow Wolf, what's up, dude? Uh, N N Nicholas, you're gonna play some Rumbly? You're gonna play some Rumble before it goes down? How do I feel about fake content? Uh, Christopher says? I don't know, man. You know, anything that can build up some hype, I'm fine with. You know what I mean? I love leaks, man. It's fun. Let's see. Uh, oh, it was just a notice about the downtime. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, season pass is uh, 10 bucks. I'm sorry, the season is 10 bucks. Uh, but if you have the season pass, you um, you should have them all. If you're on uh, PlayStation 4, start trying to download that thing early because PlayStation 4 is a nightmare. Hey, Joseph, thank you for the super chat. What's up, dude? Hey, Tesk. I hope this is going to be awesome. I hope so, too. Yeah, the reveal is going to be at 12. 12 a.m. Uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. It's 11, 18, uh, no, 11, 19 right now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so it's going to be coming up soon. Time for you just drink some Coca Cola. Let's see, what am I at? What's with that? Uh, Colton, the season should be ten bucks, buddy. At least in the U.S. Eighteen six. I could use some Seraphite. And is he selling it for for shards? Nope, Glimmer, of course. It's fine to buy some. Why not? Anything else? No, it's the only one. All right, buy some. Uh, according to the, you want to know how big it is? I, I suppose, I think the DLC for the fall is going to be 100 gigs. I, th I think. I don't know. Here, guys, let's read this. Now, um, I'm going to switch over to, hold on. Let me make sure my temps are not too bad. Hey, Wolfus. Uh, if I go to, here, let's do this, guys. Let me go back to my screen here. So I took the screenshot before it went down. And it said season of the arri of arrival silver bundle, but down at the bottom, 105. Hey, Simslayer, thank you for the super chat. Just says gaming. Yeah. Hey, Mike Montano. Hello to you. That's from Max. Hey, Chris Ball. Oh, you need the caffeine time sweater. Yeah, it's late for you in uh, Australia. Yeah. So down here it says 105 gigabytes of hard drive space. I'm assuming that's. So season of the arrivals is fall. 
Uh, unless they're referring to 100 gigabyte hard drive space for the entire game at that point. I don't know. I mean, th th that's a lot. Boba Fetish with the super chat. Mesa, love you, man. Sorry, no more member. I still watch. Uh, no more play Destiny, though. I was hoping some BL3 gameplay. Still support you, though. Oh, thanks, Boba Fetish. Yeah, Borderlands 3, I tried to get into it. I got into it for like a week or two, and then I got bored with it, man. I don't know. Like, I felt like the story was kind of like all over the place. This is a fake leak from last night. Uh, all this is fake right here. Evie, thank you for the super chat. Been watching you since you created your channel. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, that's all fake right here. Supposedly, Time Twitter pointed this out last night that the guy uh, admitted it, that it was fake. Aaron, thank you for the, uh, the shekels. Uh, did my earlier donation come through? Just checking. Uh, I, if I didn't call it out, then it, it didn't go through, I don't think. But thank you for the, uh, for the super chat. Hey, Armand, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated, sir. All right, let's go back to Z game. Play capture. Okay. I've become an OBS fanboy now. I like OBS. Oh. Right now, my character, both world, uh, both Hunter and... Oh, you still have room for three. All right, let's go. Hey! Uh, let's see. Ty, thank you for that super chat. Appreciate you and all you do. Love every bit of it. Can't wait to see what the future brings. Thank you for that. Dwayne Martin, thank you for joining level one. Thank you so much, buddy. Make sure to go to the community tab and uh, get into our Discord. Just link your Discord to uh, YouTube. And then come in and hang out with us. I love checking in with you guys every day. In fact, whenever I find leaks or find new information, I send it to you guys in our private Discord right away. Because I want to share with you guys what's like stuff that I'm working on. Hey, we got another one here. Uh, Death Mistress, thank you for joining level one. Much appreciated. I like when we uh, don't have leaks. Makes things interesting. Yeah. Are you excited or skeptical? I'm excited, uh, Knights. Because um, I just look at the track record. Summer is always popping. And the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the spring is always dry. And the summer is always fun. Oh, I have all those. I can't do those. Send you a uh, tw time to send me a DM. Sim Slayer, thank you. Check Ginzer. Uh-oh. Hold on, let me see what time to sent. Share a tweet. Oh, okay. There's a new activity called Contact from Fireteam Finder. Oh, wow. All right. There's a spoiler there. Thank you, Time Splitter. Supposedly, uh, the new three person activity called Contact from Fireteam Leader, and it shows a picture of a pyramid. What else? You guys want to see what this is that Times would have sent me? It is pretty cool. I think you guys are going to like it. Hold on, did I miss any members here? SimSlayer, check Ginzer. Hold on, let me check Ginzer. Ginzer. Retweet. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what Times would have just sent me. Do you guys want to see it? Hey, what's up, Anasi? Thank you for the uh, super chat. Do you think the Exo Strange will have a place? I'm, con I'm convinced that she's here. Hey, Wolfus, thank you for the uh, super sticker. Wait for it. All right, you want to see it? All right, hold on. Let me, uh, before I show you my desktop, let me pull up Twitter. Time splitter. Time splitter. All right, so let me go back to here. Uh, time splitter, don't link it, buddy. All right, so... New three-person activity called Contact from Fire Team Leader. And I'm going to save these images here. Contact. And it looks like in this image, there's a symbol here. So that will be the symbol. And it looks like there's a pyramid hovering right over someplace on IO. Let's 
If I could zoom in on this a little bit here. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Hmm. So I guess this is a th uh, three-player activity. I'm not the Sphinx. Thank you for the super chat. With a little bird, a little birdman flying. Thank you. Hey, Gunner. What's up, dude? Uh, yeah, Gunner. This is what Genza retweeted from Josh Hunt, who does uh, DestinySets.com. Yeah, I'm convinced the stranger Elsie Bray, whatever her name is, is coming back. New Eververse ship. I'm so excited we're going to see some pyramids today, man. I've been obsessed with them. Upside down Doritos. Eric Butler, welcome to the Mesa Army. Welcome to level one. Thank you, my friend. Make sure to go to the community tab. Link your... Go to the community tab. Click the link that only you could see. Join our Discord. Link your YouTube to uh, Discord and come in and hang out with us. And if you need the clan, just contact the admins and they'll get you all set up because they run it and I really appreciate their hard work. Jeremy, thank you for these super stickers. He says... Hey, you. Hey, you. Thank you. Now, I know nothing about Laura. The Exo Stranger, her name is Elsie Bray, right? Or is Elsie Bray someone else besides the Exo Stranger? Uh, is she going to be the new Vanguard? I don't know. Uh, Joseph, you need the Discord? Just go to my community tab. Because you're a member, you'll be able to see the link there. In fact, let me go my go to my community tab and delete my last post there. So the one for channel members is right up on top. That's why you don't have to scroll past anything. Community. Get rid of this. Delete. There we go. Okay. So yeah, just go to the, my community tab. The first post you'll see. Only members can see it. We'll have it there for you, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Simon Soda. Yeah, guys, if you could smash that like button. Let's show the YouTube algorithm that we in here. Uh, oh, can't see that. That's a symbol. Oops. Now there's hive symbols here. Uh, just another UK gamer. That was fake. The guy came out last... Uh, uh, Time Sweater pointed that out. The guy came out and admitted, hey, uh, that it was, um, fakey. Death Anime Gamer, welcome to level one. Thank you very much, my friend. Actually, you have a sub badge, so I think you just re-upped your membership. Thank you so much. So hopefully you're in the Discord already. How well do you think they'll change bounties, Adam Moss says? I don't know. I hope they change them well because it gets boring. Bring Twilight back. Hey, Caleb, welcome to level one, my friend. Thank you for joining so much. I put a bunch of new emojis in there last night for you guys. Hey, James, good morning, Mesa. Hope all's well with you and your family. The hype is real. I can't wait. Yeah, me too. Hope all's well with your family. Thanks, Wolfus. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Uh... Oh, Robert Myers. Yeah, Time Twitter said that, too, that he also got banned. Yeah, he got banned from Reddit. Do you think Uldren Sav will be the Hunter Vanguard, Sean Rice? Um, I think that would cause too many people to be upset, I think, honestly. Because everyone hates him. So if they did that, that would be kind of like a slap in the face, I feel like. you know. Oh, hold on. Let me say hello to this guy. Um, that's a good question, though. The hype is strong, yep. You don't have to go to the tower anymore to get bounties. Hey, Re Rebel Wild, what's up, dude? Boba Fetish, what's up, dude? I frown. You didn't recognize me when I sent Super Chat. Oh, well, still support. I did. I, dude, Boba Fetish, I read your entire Super Chat. Is the music still going? Let's make sure. Sorry. Make sure the music's still going now. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Uh, Boba Fetish, I read your super chat before, buddy. Because you said you couldn't be a channel member anymore. But you still support it, so I really appreciate it. Zane Edwards, welcome to the Mesa Army, my friend. 
Welcome to level one. Thank you so much for joining. So I make sure this music's going. Check one, two. Check one, two. All right, mic's working. Okay, music's going. There we go. Hey, GQ Teddy Bear. Turtle, turtle. I say Eris Morn is the new Hunter Vanguard. Hey, Christopher, how's Max? He's good. Took him for a walk last night. And a bay for Hunter Vanguard. <laughs> hey, Gunner, good morning. Hubbard, thank you for the super chat. What's good, my G? What's good with you, man? Doing well? 30 minutes, yep. It wouldn't surprise me if they eventually just do away with the Vanguard. Hey, Casey, thank you for upgrading to level 2. Thank you so much, my friend. Yeah, we have level 1, 2, and 3. Thank you for upgrading to level 2. And you've got the little raid icon, which means you've been a member for longer than a year. So thank you so much. Thank you, man. I really, really, really appreciate it. That's why I love streaming on YouTube. Uh, I just want to see if I can just grab... Well, it doesn't matter because we're going to get new bounties anyway. So time splitter, I should do the usual, right? Not cash in bounties until I actually... Um, Whatchamacallit, get my artifact. So play the game, get the artifact, then cash in the bounties. Uh, new member, oh, m uh, is it Mile? Can I just call you Rubio? Because I'm gonna totally butcher your name, man. <laughs> Welcome to the Mesa Army, my friend. Thank you. Michael with the pyramid ships and the uh, two year sub badge, thank you. Joseph Black with some Hawk Moons. I, I would die if they brought back Hawk Moon. I don't think they are. Okay, thanks, Time Splitter. Uh, I agree. I do feel like the Vanguard is phasing out. Supposedly there is going to be changes for bounties. Yeah, Time Splitter says don't cash in bounties until you get the artifact. Yeah, I'll be waiting on that one. Uh, what's going on here? When is downtime? Not sure. I know on PC I'll probably have to just re-update Steam. Alexander, thank you for the super chat. Mesa, um, if you could have a Marvel Avengers raid team using characters, Destiny, what five characters would you use for the new season? Alexander, you're going to hate me. I've never seen any of the Avengers movies. Sorry, um, hold on. Before you click dislike or leave everybody, I'm just, I'm not a comic book guy. I, I, I'm old, as you can tell. I love the original Star Wars movies. I hate the Disney ones. I like my old Star Wars. I liked comics when I was a kid and the Marvel stuff then, but the new Marvel and all that Disney stuff, I just, I find it hard for me to get into. Uh, we got some, we got a new super chat here. Let's see, Jeffrey Adams, thank you for the super chat. Keeping the lights on as always. Been sending dollars around two years now and still thrilled to be here. Thanks so much, ma'am. I appreciate that. And we got um, AJ from New York. Welcome to the um, Mesa Army Level 1. Which part of New York are you from, AJ? Brian, thank you for the super sticker with the thumbs up. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> John, I'm still a little disappointed. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just... I'm a Metallica nerd, man. Guitar nerd. All I'm into is guitars and music. And uh, when I watch... Uh, stuff it's mainly about music and guitars and all that sort of stuff you from Long Island I'm from uh, Queens how can you n not watch the Marvel Cinematic Universe hey Recob morning's been good I'm a little tired I went to bed pretty late sorry gunner man uh, Fortnite no, they're revealing the new expansion today, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, the fall exp the new chapter in Destiny, which is the fall expansion. And I'm assuming today. Hey, ANDV, there you are again. With a little salt super ch super shaker. What's my favorite Metallica song? Mine's Fade to Black. Fade to Black is in my top three, I'd say. It would either be Puppets, Fade to Black, um, Shorter Straw is up there. Anything that's good... Guitar riff wise, let me show you something really cool. This is number 
number 22 out of 100 made in the world. And they, it comes with a certificate hand signed by uh, James Hetfield. And it's uh, the ESP Iron Cross, where it's all distressed, like where James picks and stuff like that. And it has an old rusty Iron Cross on the back of it. And it has uh, like the wood on the, on the back of the neck is worn down, where his belt buckle is. As UM73 carved on the back, because James carved it with a knife. So it's supposed to be uh, an exact replica, and they only made a hundred of these, where it's a replica of his exact guitar that he plays on stage. And this is number 22 out of. And then I have a whole bunch of other SIGs. Like, I have a JH2, which is an Explorer covered in diamond plate. The JH2. Uh, let's see, uh, Christian, the Man of Culture, the sequel to Star Wars, was garbage. Uh, Justin, hit that like button, support the best content creator on YouTube. Thanks, Justin. Who else we got here? Hold on, I don't want to miss anyone. Dylan, welcome to level one. Thank you for becoming a channel member. Hold on, I don't want to miss anything here. Uh, and also Zane, welcome to level one. Thank you for, for becoming a member. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Yeah, um, I have a ESP. The last one, I'm I really want a white iron cross because it's made in the custom shop. But they, they want it takes eight months for them to build it or longer. Yeah, Recob Headfield's like my idol, man. I stopped playing for seven months. I mean, seven years. So I'm trying to regain my chops back, which is really tough right now. So I just been practicing every single night. Uh, Disturbed, I never really got into them. No, I never really got into God's back. Yeah, Orion's awesome too. I love Orion. Orion's an awesome song. What else? You know what? Actually, which is weird, I don't like Hardwired to Self Destruct. For me, that album, I don't know. It's too. I was expecting more from it. You know, just let me know if the music's too loud or too little or too whatever. Um, sorry, I had to pick my nose there. Not enough riffs on it. Hey, uh, let's see, we got some. Casey, original Star Wars is best Star Wars. Yeah, that's how I feel. I like the original ones the best. Lewis, thank you for the super sticker. It says thank you. Alexander Vargas, thank you for the super chat. Not Marvel, but from Destiny 2. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, Gajin, if they get rid of the Vanguard, who will tell us whether we want it or not? We got into a war with, call, with the Cabal. What if they killed Zavala? Josh, Orion slaps. Seven Dust. Kyle. Do I like the prequels? I hated them, but then now, compared to the Disney movies, I actually don't think they're that bad. Even though they're horribly acted and all CGI'd and all that sort of stuff. Hey, GMD, what's up, dude? Oh, thanks, GMD. Music sounds okay. Hey, Robert Wills, you have a blessed day too, my friend. Thank you. Hashtag made it to the end. Oh, sorry about your splint, man. I hope you're feeling better, my buddy. Do you think they'll give us more exotics, Rusty? That have anti-champion abilities. Hopefully, because I definitely rely on those exotic weapons. That have barrier or overload rounds or whatever they call it on them. Hope activity is match made this season. Me too. I think Zavala's gonna be around for the next season. He was doing voiceovers, we know that. Have I heard of Lacuna Coil? I've heard of them. Hey, Flash Gordon, you were the chosen one? You were the chosen oh, from Star Wars, yeah. I think George, okay, George Lucas is a brilliant, brilliant story writer, not so good director. Hence, why Empire Strikes Back is the best Star Wars, because he didn't direct it, Irving Kirshner did. And that's why Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, all the Indiana Jones movies were phenomenal, the first three. Because George wrote them, other directors directed them. Spielberg is a brilliant director. Spielberg directed the Indiana Jones movies, hence why they were so good. So George can write amazing stories, not so good in directing though. Thoughts on Nightwish? Floor's voice is godlike. Uh, I don't know them. Gamma, I'm going to try some fun builds if they give us a good artifact, man. I didn't like the last... Season of the Undying was the last one with a good artifact, in my opinion. 
Hey, oh, okay. My name is pronounced Andy. Love your vids. Okay, I'll stop saying A N D V E. I mean A N D V. I'll just say Andy. Sean O'Connell. Uh, check out Slaughter to Prevail. Well, it's weird because Metallica is the only metal I like. Well, that and Slayer's Rain and Blood is a masterpiece. Because it's all, you know, like palm muting. But those are the only two re real metal stuff that I like. I like a lot of techno and like house and dance music and all that stuff from like the 90s and stuff too. I like Guido. I mean, I'm from Queens, New York. Baskimo, thank you for the super chat. Watching uh, from work uh, yet again. Keep, keep me informed, Mesa. All right, Baskimo, thank you. Slick Gray Fox, thank you for the super sticker. It says, wait for it. Thank you for that, my friend. Uh, Slipknot, never got into them. No, too noisy. I need riffs. Megadeth was okay, Jonathan. Hey, Ty, thank you for the super chat. Might not be your style, but a little Grateful Dead or Fish opens up a rift in the soul or classic, eh, also classic Star Wars all day. Yeah, Ty, um, all my college friends were into Fish and the Dead and stuff like that. And, and like the kind of jam bands. Play puppets. I, I have my Line 6 he Helix on, on the floor right here. Actually, then I gotta set it up, I gotta plug it all in and get everything. Bungie is live? Oh, okay. Hold on, folks. Let's exit out of here. Back to OBS. Okay. There we go. Make sure, is the music still going? Hold on. At least have some music going while we're up to here. I don't know why every time I switch browsers, my stupid music, the volume goes all the way down. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to ask you guys a question in a second here. Hold on. Uh, CJ, welcome to level one, man. Appreciate it, my friend. Hold on. Let me show you one thing, and then I'm going to have to grab something. Okay, this one's another really big favorite. A guitar of mine, it's a ESP JH2, where it's covered in uh, uh, ESP JH2. Uh, they only made 200 of these. It comes with a certificate hand signed by Hetfield, and it's covered in a uh, black diamond plate. And for some reason, I don't know why all the Hetfield SIGs, they always have the best clean tone for some reason. And then this is the Truckster. Man, I love this guitar. Love this guitar. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Because it's got this real smooth, satiny finish. It's all worn down. Because it's supposed to look like a car. Like, it, it, James said it's supposed to be like, one guy owned it and it was gray, and then it was white, and then it was red, and then it was black, but the guy can't afford the rest of the paint job on it. So the paint has been worn through and the paint has you know, like history on it and stuff, so. Love this guitar, it's pretty cool. Let me just grab a tasty beverage, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Uh, let me 
Make sure I get my mouse. All right, I don't want to miss anything here. Got you, CJ. Jeffrey Adams uh, with the super chat. Rip swords without enhanced scavenger. Disrupting, disrupting blade and passive guard. It will be old news for us, and that depresses me. But we'll see what the new seasonal artifact is like. Um, hey, Reese, welcome to level one, Mesa Army. All the new channel members, um, make sure to go to the um, channel wall community tab and uh, click the link that you'll only see. Thank you again, Reese, for joining, man. Welcome to level one. And uh, connect your Discord to YouTube. Come in, hang out. I love hanging out with you guys in there. And then if you need a clan, just contact one of the admins because the um, clan admins handle all that sort of stuff. Um, Spiral, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Unforsaken J, what's up, dude? Unforsaken J um, helps out big time with um, the clan stuff. I really appreciate that, J, man. Taya, how's the weather stateside? It's, it's, it's been beautiful out here, actually. It's hot. That's why I, I have the AC on. Spiral, thank you for the super chat. Aloha Mesa, thank you for your dedication to Destiny and the community. Thanks, buddy. Is the stream an hour long? Actually, we don't know. Probably. I mean, if they want us to start playing the content right away, we'll see. Oh, Michael, you just finished it? I'm good, Unforsaken Jay. How you been doing? Robert Myers, hope the anti-barrier reef aren't on shoddies. Yeah, I... I wonder what weapon archetype they're going to put anti-barriers and overload rounds and all that sort of stuff on. Music's still going, okay. I will cut the music and, um... Let's see. Michael, you just finished a Python Gambit quest? I was going to go for it, and then I saw all of the steps or more kills I needed, and I said, forget it, I'm not doing it. Hey, Kojima Fire, thank you for the super chat. If you ever check out Nightwish, look up Ghost Love Score Live. I'd love to hear your feedback if you do. Aw, thanks, buddy. Okay, hold on, just check an email. Got that. Okay. Uh, auto rifles would be nice too, yeah. I would like to see anti barriers or overloads. Well, I'd like to see anti barriers on auto rifles again. Hunter Benson, good morning, Mace. Uh, uh, good morning, Sean. Good morning to you, Hunter. Do you have high hopes for this morning's reveal? Yes. Thanks, Time Sweater. Yeah, guys, we have 4,000 people here. Can you guys all hit the like button so we could send this to uh, YouTube trending? That the Mesa Army is here. I really appreciate it. Hey, Joel. So super excited. Thanks for all the amazing coverage. Hey, Jordan. Welcome to Level 1, channel member. Thank you, buddy. Buddy. Hey, Jeffrey Adams. Bows. You want him on bows? Overloads on scouts would be nice. Yeah. Zero light. Z. Uh, welcome to the Mesa Army, uh, Jordan. All new members, go to the community tab when you get a chance and click on the Discord link. Link your Discord with... Um, with YouTube and from there you should be good to go and everything will open up and if you need to join the clan um, just contact one of the admins as they run it and they'll get you all set up starting at 12 we have a uh, T minus 11 minutes open up five brow browsers and hit like heck <laughs> make some accounts thanks Michael <laughs> Wolfus please hit that like button yeah, we got 1.6 thousand likes and we have 4,000 people watching. If all of you could kindly hit the like button, let's send this to the YouTube algorithm top. Larry, welcome to level one, my friend. Larry Webster, thank you so much. Archangel, thank you for the super chat. Happy to spend my birthday watching a Mesa stream. Everyone wish Archangel a happy birthday. And Larry, welcome to the Mesa army, my friend. Everyone spam uh, Ark some uh, exotic emojis, some pyramids, some strangers. So no times to explain. And some prime engrams in chat. <clears throat> uh, let's see, Joseph, thank you for the super chat. I need to become a trials god. Please help. I I, I get carried in trials. I, I, I'm, I'm terrible. I'm getting better. I snipe with Revoker. And I use a Scuff Vantage 2, the Mesa Army version, on PC, which gives me aim assist. Uh, which I'm getting a little bit better at. Uh, Low-key gamer, thank you for the super chat. I bet Europa will be used for season 11 and the fall DLC. That's a good question. Um, ooh. Hold on, let me. Uh, 
Get rid of the music here. Let's get rid of puzzle pace. We're gonna close out you. Okay. Let's see, what do we hear here? I don't think there's any music here. Oh. Okay, let me know if the if the bungee music is too loud and I'll lower it. Archangel, welcome to level one. Thank you for becoming a channel member, man. I appreciate it. Happy birthday. Armand, thank you for the super chat. Hashtag still in shame. Play us in tune. Play us a tune. Brian Moore, welcome to level one. Thank you for becoming a channel member. Gaijin, hope they bring back No Land Beyond. Thank you. Music is too loud? Too loud, okay. I will lower it for now. And then I'll um I'll raise it and make it full screen once it starts. Question for you guys, yes or no? Do you want me to remove my camera when the stream starts? Just let me know yes or no. Should I remove my uh, camera? Hey Molly Genius, welcome to level one Mesa Army, thank you. Marty Lewin, I can't wait. Hype, LOL. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Everyone's saying yes and no. I can't keep up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um. Well, I could toggle it on and off, in fact. Let me go into OBS and... Which scene is it, anyway? I was a video capture device. Okay, that's cool. All right. So I could do that from there. Okay. You know what? For like cutscenes and stuff, I'll I'll um, I'll turn it off. Or like uh, not cutscenes. Uh, hey, Marlino, thank you for the super chat. Everyone hit that like button. Yeah, guys, we have four thousand people watching. If you guys can hit the like button, we're at one point nine likes right now. Yeah, if we can, um, I will. Um, I'll cut me out when we have. Uh, Cinematics and stuff. Brian Moore, I grew up on Metallica. I want to cover. I was in a cover band. Played the drums too. Of your top three songs. That's cool. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, I've been in bands my whole life. We we were never cover bands, although we played covers while jamming. But it was all songs I wrote. Where I wrote the music, guitars, and then they wrote their stuff. I mean, they wrote their bass and drum parts along with my guitar stuff. But I wrote the arrangements and the music and all that sort of stuff. Hey, I've been to Bungie. I remember all those places. Oh, wait, is this guy talking? This is the kind of thing that talks about its people first. It talks about values. It talks about really, really caring. That is true. When you look at the, the number of things we were able to accomplish in a pretty short period of time, it's, it's a testament to all the skills and passion at all levels of the company. Oh, Pop, I don't feel bad. I'm way older than you, dude. The first case of a new potentially deadly virus has been confirmed in the United States, and it's right in our own backyard. Given the explosion Welcome, Sheldon. of the COVID-19 virus in our state and globally, Thanks, uh, Ali I will sign a statewide executive proclamation later today, temporarily shutting down restaurants, bars, entertainment, and recreational facilities. Well, it really started for us back in February when we were starting to hear early stages about the global pandemic. We went from, first time I'd ever heard the phrase social distancing before, to the entire studio working from home in a matter of a couple of weeks. It was scary. It was kind of chaotic, a lot of uncertainty. We had to rise to this challenge and go from a studio all working in person day to day to working distributed all over the Puget Sound region. We developed a five phase. This is so annoying. Five phase plan driven by five priorities. And the top priority for us was employee safety. So very quickly it was developing a plan so we could get our employees working remotely and also ensuring that the day Jane, probably not for a while. Destiny was available for Rhodes, welcome players. to level one. Is there anything confusing or unclear so far? Sheldon, welcome no, so to far level one. Been very clear. 
something that's very Reese, you upgraded to level two. Is, Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, my friend. Aspects of Destiny is secure, and so. In order to do that, we had to look at provisioning. Skip, I can't skip this is live. Joel, thank you for upgrading to level two. Thank we you so artists, much, man. I appreciate it. We have writers, we have engineers, testers. There's so many different workflows. Ah, Sean, that's okay, buddy. Specific technology. It's done. Background here, got a little. Uh, Alexander, welcome to level one, my friend. I oh, can, uh, of course, some uh, new stuff for Destiny. IT was the one getting burdened the most. Everybody who was working from home had basically one avenue that they Alexander, welcome to level one, my friend. Thank you. And our queues just blew out of control. Normally, our ticket workload for a month is between seven and 800 tickets. And in March, it was 1,400 tickets. The IT team was incredible through this. I mean, it was one of those moments where uh, a team that's, you know, often behind the scenes suddenly came front and center. Our guys, they're willing to stay all through the night. And not a complaint out of a single guy. I mean, it's the best team I've ever worked with, and I could not be prouder to stand by their sides. You got it. <laughs> As we started to get in a position where we were operational day to day, we, we asked ourselves, well, what can we do locally? The Bungie Foundation has been really busy, hard at work, and we wanted to make sure that our families, especially the most vulnerable families in our community, would be able to be taken care of in that time. Space Magic, so thank you for upgrading, man. What can we do for kids in the area? To level so two. We, we and also, thanks for being a member for over two years, man. In the area to help provide food really for appreciate kids it. I haven't played with you in a long time, school. man. They are serving about 500 meals Look forward to hopefully you grind in the season with me, man. At this point, since, since the middle of March, that actually equates to about 30,000 meals that they provided for families in, in, uh, in the Bellevue community. Thank you, Foundation. Thank you. Thank you, Bungie Foundation. It's incredible stuff, but being able to use our infrastructure to support that. And then, of course, the huge effort. With I'll be right back while they play this. We partnered with Direct Relief, and we wanted to find a way to support those who have been probably some of the most hardest hit in this pandemic, which are our frontline healthcare workers. So we spun up a month-long fundraiser, and we set a goal of $700,000 to be raised in that period of time, and we've already reached our goal, which is really exciting. One thing that's really become clear to me is how much we're all driven by that mission of we create worlds that inspire friendship. And I think it also says something about how much everyone cares about each other here. The fact that they are willing to put their money where their mouth is to support the quality of life of the individuals that work for the studio, I think Bungie is amazing. I look at the situation that other people are in. People are getting laid off, can't pay their bills. Bungie's made this commitment to each one of us. I want to say thank you to the entire studio because I had the great privilege to be part of this awesome team and this awesome company. And I just, I, I can't say enough about that. The thing that I've learned the most from this is Doing the right thing and prioritizing people's health and well-being has a rippling effect. I think that we'll see that in Little the Little doggy. We'll see that in the community. Love dogs. All right, guys, we got a minute. I'll mute my mic. We got one minute. Season, hey, flash with the max emojis, yeah. Love my Jack Russell. Max just turned 14. Season of Arrival, 6-9. Eh, little pyramid there. Season of Arrivals. All right. I will mute myself once we get started. So some of my leak videos over the past month are coming true. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say I told you so, but some of it's true. Hey, Patrick, welcome to Level 1 Mesa Army. Thank you. All new channel members. We got 38 new members. Go to the community tab. There'll be a uh, link that only you could see. Join the Discord. Link your Discord to YouTube. And then everything will open up. If you want to join the PC, Xbox, or PS4 clan, you just got to simply um, just message one of the admins. It's 
they all run the clan and set it up and everything. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can make it a little louder. It's already loud as is. All right, I'm muting myself. Kevin, I can't keep up with this chat, dude. That's why I'm just shutting my mouth.
Yeah, there's 5,500 people here, guys. I see a lot of awful comments. I can't literally go through every single one as I watch chat go like this, go like this, go like this. Just be cool. We got three more minutes. Chill. Relax, everyone. And honestly, I have no idea where the button is for a disabled chat. Uh, can I put chat in slow mode? Good question. We just got a new dashboard, so I'm trying to figure out where it is. Actually, I don't want it in slow mode, because then I'm going to see all these horrific comments, which I, I don't want to see, because right now, I, I can't see anything. Ian, welcome to level one, my friend. Thank you for joining. Much appreciated. Thank you for the super chat, Clifton. Yeah, it's supposed to be a moment of silence. I was trying to be silent, but chat is going crazy, and I cannot keep up with it. It's going like this. So just be cool, people, please. I'm going to go get a tasty beverage. I'll be right back. Okay, chat, please calm down. <laughs> please. <laughs> You're going to give me a heart attack. Let's chill. All right, I'm muting myself now again. Please remove all politics and social issues from the chat, if you please. That's why I never talk about this stuff. And I'm going to mute myself. Let's watch. I'm Mark Norsworthy. I'm the Destiny 2 uh, general manager. I'm Luke Smith, and I'm the Destiny 2 game director. Before we started the show today, we wanted to just acknowledge the circumstances and the unprecedented times we're in. Um, this is not how we had planned this several months ago. 
uh, to talk about the future of Destiny 2 and, and, and reveal where we're headed w w with the team. Um, you know, the, this shows not how we planned it. We're building the game, not how we planned it, from our living rooms and, you know, basements and with our kids and our dogs and all sorts of stuff on our laps while, uh, while we're trying to make this game. Yeah, the, uh, this is just, there's like a, there's like an inherent weirdness to this, even the weirdness of, you know, this is the first time I've seen you in person for in the last like probably three months and i don't know if people know but outside of the show that is work like those are actually pretty close like we hang out we talk all the time our our significant others are buddies like uh and so you know this is it's like it's super weird just to see you in person yeah not on yeah. a screen yeah not on yeah. this little like zoom screen on an ipad or something like it's just it's just totally bizarre yeah um this is not how we envision this and certainly our hope was that it would be more than just us two talking about this stuff um, and over the course of the summer, we're, a bunch more folks from the team are gonna are gonna talk about what we're. What This is what I brought you here to see. I was right. The stranger beyond light. I mean, oh, be, beyond light is a fall. I was right. The stranger was coming back. Everyone made fun of me. So, uh, Luke, is it finally time to explain? <laughs> You know, listen, like some jerk said that the st we were done with the stranger story. And as you get back into Destiny and you keep like looking around and finding stones to uncover, a character who says that she's not forged in light and where the two of you meet, ground can break, becomes a pretty interesting tool to, to leverage here in uh, Destiny 2 Beyond Light and going forward. You know, it is the beginning of a brand new era in Destiny 2. This fall, you're going to discover Europa, a brand new destination, and one of the first destinations we envisioned long ago when Destiny began. This is the birthplace of the Exo and the site of a newly active pyramid ship. As a player, you're going to face Aramis, a fallen warrior wielding a brand new power born from a very ancient darkness. Like you, Aramis is a leader, but unlike you, she seeks revenge against the Traveler for scattering her people's once great houses to the cosmic winds. It's up to you to confront Aramis and her growing empire on the frozen battlegrounds of Europa. And it's up to you to go beyond and discover long dormant secrets hidden beneath the surface in places lost to time like- The Deep Snow Crypt. Yes, there you go. That one I Lore heard corner. of. Lore Corner. That one I yeah. heard of, yeah. Doing it. There's a lot more to Europa than you might imagine. And here's your first look at gameplay from Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Where I come from, the darkness won. 
I have witnessed this firsthand. I refuse to let it happen again. It's time the truth presented itself to you. Darkness resides within, beckoning you. This is a truth we cannot hide from. And so we must embrace it. The line between light and dark is so very thin. Let's cross it together. Ice subclass? Ice element? Man, it's time to wield the darkness. We've been waiting. Destiny 2 Beyond Light ships to all currently supported platforms on September 22nd this year. And it kicks off a new era in Destiny where players will discover the true nature of the light and the dark. Not just walking the thin line between, but wielding the darkness itself as a weapon with stasis. And we did just get like a very brief look at that today. And, you know, obviously we're gonna end up showing more throughout the course of the summer. And the other thing is stasis, this new power, isn't just gonna be guardian supers and abilities. It's a brand new damage type. So that means it's gonna ultimately sit alongside solar, arc, and void as the first new element we've introduced to the game since the original Destiny release way back in 2014. This is a big deal. Like, it's a big deal to add this to the universe. Like, it changes everything. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Today, yeah, you got a glimpse of this this new power, and it's it's definitely the pursuit and acquisition and, and the player's ability to wield it is something that's gonna be woven in through the narrative of the game. Like the game is kind of a collision course between you and, and Aramis, and uh, we're gonna show you a bunch more about stasis later in the year. Because though we're excited about what we're delivering this fall, we did say that Destiny 2 Beyond Light was the beginning of a new era. What does that mean? Well, it, it means that we're thinking about destiny beyond just any given year and thinking about it over time. And so we want to take a look into kind of the long future of destiny. But when you want to look ahead, like we're about to do, it all starts back at the beginning. We called it The Traveler, and its arrival changed us forever. Eyes up, Guardian. You must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Six of us went down into the pit. In the end, they all bowed before me. We have slain his brood. We have murdered his son. And now the Taken King comes for us all. I miss that music. You're not brave. You've merely forgotten the fear of death. I am 
without the light. Are we even guardians anymore? We should have been there. Any last words? I'm coming home, Ace. So, this is to be a reckoning. I love the music for Forsaken. I actually have goosebumps from it. How long has it sat in silence watching us? It seems those responsible for our collapse are coming back. We've been waiting. We are you. Salvation. The line between light and dark is so very thin. Do you know which side you're on? should always be taken. Even if it's the wrong side. Wow. We are building Destiny's future today, right inside of Destiny 2. It starts with Beyond Light coming this fall. It's going to continue with the next major expansion, The Witch Queen, and Lightfall is going to kind of drive this all to a, uh, to a moment. These three releases represent this new era in Destiny. These eras began really in 2014 with that era of light where you know players entered Destiny for the first time. They were resurrected, they went to the tower, they learned about uh, the things the children were scared of. And you know we, we exited that era uh, when we became guardians. We are now coming out of an era of loss of our powers, one of our mentors, our innocence, and soon we will be entering an era of darkness. And if it's not clear, we are all in on Destiny 2. Last year, we laid out a vision for the game that we wanted to build the definitive action MMO, place it in an awesome evolving world that you can play anytime, anywhere with your friends. We are still completely committed to this ambitious vision, and we're going to continue reaching to deliver it in Destiny 2. And to be clear, listen, I'm sure like over here in the Twitch chat, there's like, you know, some mix of salt and space dad. You know, we haven't gotten everything right out of the gate. You know, for example, we've already begun working on changes that we're going to make to our seasonal model in year four to get a bunch of the FOMO that's in the game right now out of it. And this is a response not only to your feedback, but just, you know, we took it in the wrong direction. You can, you can lay that at me. We're also working on things like transmog and... That's going to be an experience that means armor is kind of always valuable to you because it can always represent a look for you to chase. And we've got a bunch of other improvements to the experience that we're working on. Things like the quest lock is going to get like another awesome revision. We've got like small touches, like a oft-requested one. And I, th I think when we started Beyond Light, uh, this was one that uh, I made to Mike Zach in, in you know, the... Uh... Yeah, getting a dark title screen <laughs> back in Destiny so that... The light white heat of the title screen doesn't light up your entire apartment at 2 a.m. So there are the small features, but then there's also some big features. And maybe one of the biggest is next generation support. I think one of the most exciting things we're going to talk about is the game's going to run at 60 frames per second and 4K resolution on the new hardware. We're also really happy to say that whatever content you already own or will own in Destiny 2 will come with you to your next generation console of choice at no extra charge. On PlayStation, you'll be able to upgrade to PlayStation 5 for free. And on Xbox, we will support smart delivery also for free. In plain English, this means if you own Destiny 2 expansion content on those platforms now or in the future or by Beyond Light in September, you can keep playing on the same family consoles for free without buying the expansions again. We think that's going to be awesome. And you don't have to worry about busting up your friends list either because 
we're going to support intergenerational crossplay within each console platform ecosystem as well. This means that Cross if you, your brothers playing on PS4 and your sisters playing on PS5, all three of you can play together. We're going to do the same thing in the Xbox ecosystem. This year we're focused on intergenerational play. Hopefully next year we can finally do the thing and get them all playing together in the same ecosystem. Yes. So Shadowkeep was cool, and Shadowkeep brought back the moon and upgraded and enhanced it. And so we, we brought a destination out of the vault and you know spruced it up, and that's where you got to play. We're not doing that with this fall's destination, Europa. It's a brand new place you've never been before. And both the Witch Queen and Lightfall are going to also include brand new, never-before-seen destinations. These expansions will stretch out across a timeline that's going to bring much-anticipated enemies to the forefront and hopefully deliver some twists, turns, drama that uh, we don't think anyone's going to see coming. But to deliver these big content beats each and every year and keep building on top of our seasonal experiences while making technological leaps forward, we also need to make some big changes to the way we treat some of our older legacy content. The stuff that maybe is getting a little long in the tooth that you're not really looking at and playing anymore. You're like not De really Destiny, <laughs> Destiny 2 is a huge game. We have nine destinations, 40 story missions, 54 adventures, 42 lost sectors, 17 strikes, 31 PVP maps, seven raids, and hundreds of game systems that layer on top of that. I could go on, and I probably screwed up one of those numbers. The fact is, the game is too large to efficiently update and maintain. We're on track to be like 115 gigabytes on PlayStation alone, and our updates to the game are huge, and we're starting to reach the limits of our ability to patch. We don't want to start over from, from scratch and build a sequel. And in order to make a sequel, we would have to stop supporting Destiny 2. Like, it would effectively go dark. You know, we talk about a single evolving world. A single evolving world. Not multiple evolving worlds, <laughs> but a single evolving world. And we don't want people to have to start over. We don't want to have that loss of continuity with our game systems and our communities and all the players together. We don't want to put another number on the box. So instead, here's our plan. Each year, just as a new expansion comes out, we're gonna cycle older, less actively played activity and destination content out of the live game and into what we're calling the Destiny Content Vault, the DCV. <laughs> Moving content into this vault is gonna allow us to add support for D2 for years, including Beyond Light, The Witch Queen, and Lightfall. This vault is also gonna allow us to take content from Destiny 1 do some work on it, get it ready to come back into the Destiny 2 ecosystem. So we're not just gonna be taking stuff away, we're also gonna be going into those the classic vaults and kind of bringing some stuff back or unvaulting activity and destination content each year. Thinking about the greatest hits of Destiny, right? Like, what's, what are the new tracks we can lay down? Oh, bring back what's the Dreadnought. The past that was like pretty cool, that could be made even better if it existed today. And what, is, what does that look like? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that people there's a lot of awesome stuff that the team has built over the you know six years of six years of making Destiny. And Type Destiny yes if you want the Dreadnought totally back. Totally missed out on. Like later this year, Destiny One's Cosmodrome is coming back this fall as a selectable destination. Its three strikes are also going to come back during season 12 and season 13. Yes. Part of the awesome thing here is a bunch of players haven't played Sepix. Sepix was the strike from the beta way back in like summer 2014. It is the like. The oldest, like the most the definitive, like original strike that yeah. we felt like hit the right notes. Yeah, like, in Destiny One, yeah. right? And yeah. we left all that behind when we made Destiny Two, and we're saying like, we don't want to do that again. Well, let's not do that again, but let's also reach into the past and like bring it into the present. But there's a lot of great content in our past, and maybe this year we'll see a, a classic raid come back. I think it'd be pretty amazing this year to see the Vault of Glass kind of unvaulted and returned in front of players. Like I can imagine things like champion Praetorians instead of just regular Praetorians and kind of updating it slightly to the modern context uh, but still preserving that like classic feel. This fall when the expansion comes out Welcome we're going to be bringing back Cosmodrome and adding Europa but we're going to look at some of that content that's been in the game for a long time that's been free that isn't actively played and that's that's when some of that is going to be vaulted. Well after the show we're going to have a much more in-depth article that you can read in our plans for, for vaulting content on Bungie.net and why we're taking this unprecedented approach and what it means for the game this year and for the game going forward. Cosmodrome coming back, huh? We're also going to be conducting a bunch of interviews to answer your big questions and we will continue the conversation with coverage in our ongoing This Week at Bungie community conversations as well as 
there will be a bunch of player support and DPS articles about this all summer long. You know, we've, we've placed a bunch of bets on the Destiny Cosmic board, whether it's the Traveler waking up, whether it's the Stranger dissolving after telling you, you know, there's, there's so much more to explore out there. What if they bring the Vault of Glass back? We're going to start to bring a bunch of these threads home. Crota's end. Here's a look at the beginning of those threads coming home to roost this summer in Season of Arrivals. Muting. The Almighty has been reduced to smoldering ash. And with allies like Rasputin, who can stop us? From Titan to Mercury, their shadow reaches. Is their message a warning? A trick? We can't know until we hear their words for ourselves. You bring weapons. You will not need them. We offer only truth. The darkness reached out. But something interferes. The witch sister of the Taken King, Savathun. We are the final line that halts the second collapse. Yourself, Guardian, this battle is not over. Wow, a lot to digest. So the season of arrivals, and it starts uh, any minute now at 10 a.m. Pacific. So today, we're gonna play we through it, so don't leave the stream. Stuff. We talked about the Destiny content vault, we looked into the past to see kind of how we got to where we are today. We looked into the far future with the Witch Queen and Lightfall, and we also talked about Beyond Light, which is the beginning of a new era in Destiny 2. And if pre-ordering is kind of your thing, like the pre-orders are going to go live today. Like if you're if you're interested, there's some there's some sweet bonuses, and uh, you know that's that's kind of the the summary of the show. Uh, we're and you're, if you're excited about the start of Beyond Light and where we're headed, well, the season arrivals, we just, it's kind of like a prelude. You know, it's, it's really setting up that story, so we encourage you to get in and play. There's one more thing I totally forgot. Uh, so, today, at 5 p.m. Pacific, we're going to launch a brand new dungeon called Prophecy. Uh, Prophecy is a dungeon that involves the Nine, and that's kind of like all I'm going to say about it, because there's, there's a little bit of business uh, to get to with it, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wrap. But it's got a brand new set of armor for you to chase. It's got... It's a classic armor for you to chase. It's going to be at a really high power level, which means it's like a, a solid day's work plus a little bit of skill to, to summit that mountain. It's free for all players. It's free for all players. And we're going to show you a trailer in just a second. If you don't want to see anything from the dungeon, just click the little red X or like get up and go have a make an omelet and then come back and the stream will be over and you can play uh, you can play Season of Arrivals in Destiny 2. I think that's the business side, right? We're like there. Yeah. We're, we've I think, I think, we've yeah. handled everything. I think it's the, the time to say thank you all for tuning in and giving us your time today and just for playing Destiny and, and, and being part of this amazing community. Welcome, As Billy, to channel membership level one. Thank you. On behalf of everyone at Bungie, please, please, please stay safe out there. And, you know, we'll see you soon. Okay. Don't leave the stream because we're going to be playing the new season new dungeon tonight
Thank you, Ricky. Don't leave the stream because we're going to play the new, uh, the new season. Is that it? I think that's it. Oh, let me turn the air conditioner off. Wow, that was a lot to dissect. Cosmodrome coming back. Old strikes coming back. I'm pretty psyched about that. Abyss think the two swords are revamps of old swords? I don't know, we'll see. Take my money. Hey Zach. Still 25 minutes to reset. I might as well just keep the stream going. Trying to see if I can get the new links to open up for Beyond Light. Every time I click on the new links, none of them are working. web pages should be open. Hey, Sim Slayer. Hi. I'll, I'll get my wallet. Alright, no problem, Jack Wolf. Thanks for hanging out, my brother. Thanks for being a channel member that long. The website is under maintenance. Yeah, every time I click the link from the, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's go back to here. Blow it up. Alright. Let's see, should I start up a new stream right at 1 o'clock when the new uh, DLC hits? Or should I just stay on stream right now? What do you think? Hey, Connor, welcome to level 1, man. Thank you for becoming a channel member, buddy. Ricky, thank you for the super chat. Going to be pre-ordering. Everything looks amazing. Yeah, the website's down when I go to Destiny the Game. For the new season. See if I could find it. Bungie, yeah, it's not working. Yeah, the links are not working for the new page because I want to show you guys everything. Connor, did I get you before? Thank you for level one, my friend. Thank you for joining. Stay put. We don't have 20 minutes, I can hang out with you. New stream. Stay. Uh, drop Lupo's video. What is Lupo doing? Hey, Army Tula, what's up, buddy? Main admin over on the Mesa Army Discord. Hey, we got snipe, snipe scoped, seventy five. Welcome to Mesa Army Channel One. All the oh, we got so many new channel members. All the new channel members, go to the community tab and um, click the uh, click the Discord link. 
that will take you to a new um disc uh that will take you to our discord uh link your youtube to discord and then come in and hang out oh lupo is uh, interviewing i'm not gonna go restream his stream um i want to play the new season is what i want to do um if you're a new channel member go to the community tab click on the link that only you will see connect your youtube to discord and then uh I think everything is down until 10 p.m. I mean, 10. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to fire. I'm going to redo a, a new stream. And I'll be live in about 20 minutes. Okay, guys? So just sit tight. I'll have um, a pre-ready stream in a couple minutes here. So let me cut this one off here now. And then um, we will then... I'll see you guys in a few, but welcome all new 44 channel members. Once again, go to the community tab, click on the, on the discord link, link your YouTube to discord. And then from there, um, whatchamacallit, um, link your YouTube to discord and then all the things will open up. If you need a clan, just contact any of the admins. We have a PS4, Xbox and uh, PC clans for everybody. Okay. So I'll see you guys in about 20 minutes or so. Okay, guys. Love you guys. Hashtag made it to the end. Drop a like in this video if you can. Time split are going to be DMing you right now.